need a, um, I forgot what this is called, but like a pizza shovel or something. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Jaden. Welcome back to my channel where I post information on health, fitness, and overall self-improvement and optimization. Today will be everything I eat in a day video. So we will start with my thyroid medication. So I wake up and I always, on an empty stomach, I take a one grain, which is 60 milligrams of the thyroid hormones. On an empty stomach, you're not supposed to eat anything for 30 minutes to an hour, and you're supposed to drink a lot of water with it. I found that when I, in the beginning, when I didn't drink enough water with it, it wasn't, like I didn't feel the release of the hormone to my system as smoothly, but as soon as I started just drinking enough water with it, then it was really nice. Right now, I'm eating about two to three main meals a day, and about one to two snacks. So right now, I'm eating about, um, like three to five times a day. I uh, usually get some kind of good, like, uh, snack bars um, that I have. So I'll probably eat one or two throughout the day. Uh, the key for me is to have a sustained energy throughout the day. So I find that eating frequently really helps with that. I don't go overboard, like I don't do the six meals or more some people eat like every hour because that's like a little too much for me um but this is just what works for me i just do about like three to five meals a day i have these i'm sure you've seen these rx bars right now i'm into these so i got a whole box um and so that's the bar i'm eating now like i snack on throughout the day it's about like 45 minutes to an hour now and I've given the thyroid hormone that I just took time to like, you know, work its way so I can eat something now. So I'm going to make a uh, smoothie. Also, um, there's a company that does temporary tattoos. It's really popular. It's called Inbo Ink Box. And they've given me some temporary tattoos to try out and kind of see how they work. And I did one here and a few here and a few in other places. They work really well. They actually last for like maybe 10 days and it comes out very much just like a real tattoo. Um, I'm someone who would never ever want to get a tattoo and mark myself permanently, but I am someone who likes to have fun with uh, playing with different styles and looks that I could wash off in two weeks, so yeah. Uh, they are fun and they're not that expensive. If you want to check them out, inkbox.com. For my smoothie, uh, it's really simple. I'm doing some frozen mangoes, frozen bananas right here. Uh, that will be the base. And then I'm doing some protein powder, some collagen peptides, and the secret weapon here is this organic PB fit. It's like a peanut butter mimicker thing. And it literally, like, you mix the powder with some water or you can put it in a smoothie and it makes things thick. Um, if you just do it with water, it turns to pretty much, like, you can barely tell that it's not real peanut butter, but it's got, like, a third or... You have to check, but it's got a lot less of the calories, uh, so it's great. I personally do not keep track of my calories anymore. I've been doing meal prep. I went to chef school. I'm a certified nutritionist, and I like I know by just eyeballing. But uh, you can definitely do that because I am a strong believer of as far as the fat loss. Um, uh, the body composition you want to achieve that is going to be it does it doesn't matter what kind of diet you're doing in the end of the day it's calorie in and calories out so uh, I know it's boring but it is the truth so you could fancy it up however you want there's so many diets that are like oh cut out a certain macronutrient but what they're really doing it's not because of the macronutrient it's because they're cutting out calories like if you're on Adkins 
and you cut out all carbs or keto and you cut out all carbs, but you eat so much fat and protein, you're, gonna, like, you're not gonna lose weight. You might lose initial water weight or initial weight because in the beginning, when you cut out a food group, you're, you're not craving more of the other food groups yet because you haven't had enough of a deficit. So, but once you have, your body's smart and it's gonna like compensate by eating more of the other macronutrients. Same thing with cutting out like, you know, certain type of foods. Like I just don't eat bread or, you know, all that bottom line, calories in, calories out. If you wanna lose fat and become leaner and more fit. Uh, so it is good to keep in mind your calories. But uh, if you, you don't have enough experience yet, you want to keep track. But if you have experience, you kind of eyeball and you know like, oh, this is pretty much give and take 100 calories here and there. Um, you know how much you're eating. So that's all done. Um, when I make smoothies, I go ahead and make double because I'm gonna have probably one in the afternoon. So it just saves time. So you just make double the portions and you divide into two, you have one now, and then later you have one that's already made for you. And it's still gonna be good because, uh, you know, it's only a, like maybe six hours later. Um, I wouldn't pre-make it the day before because smoothies with fruit and all that is just not gonna be good the next day. But a few hours, it's good. Okay guys, so I've got my smoothie here. It's so creamy and delicious. I mean, look at that consistency. And that's all due to the um, frozen fruit and the, ben uh, the peanut butter, the PB fit. Um, so. Oh, thick and creamy, so good. Had my shake, and so I'm gonna actually go and do some tennis practice, and um, I'll just show you guys a quick update of my body. I am definitely losing body fat gradually, and yeah, I do think in the last month or so, after having um, fully recovered and um, got my hormones and my diet and everything on point, optimized and on a very regular uh, strength training program now that I'm able to be able to push in the gym as well. Um, and I'm playing like the same amount of tennis that I used to play like before I even had my health crash and that oh and that's the back view so yeah I you know I I can definitely see a difference it's been 
quite a journey. Um, I still got some work to do, but I'm very happy with my progress. Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Just got done with playing tennis. It was a lot longer than I thought I was gonna do it for. I ended up meeting somebody at the courts, had a second hit, so that was like two hours of pretty intense tennis. Now I am super hungry, so let's do lunch. It's pretty incredible how big of a difference that um, optimal hormones make in your body, just your overall performance. Like, my tennis now has just gotten totally back to the way it was, if not in some ways better. So for lunch, I think I will make uh, some flatbread pizza. It, it's actually a new obsession of mine. Uh, the ingredients I use overall, it, the whole pizza is like around 500 calories. So um, I will show you guys how I do that. So guys, this pizza is so delicious, so easy to make, and it's really good for you. It's very satisfying, so you don't feel like you ate something healthy, but then you're still like craving, um, like your taste buds are still craving something um, more satisfying. It's actually very satisfying and very good for you. So first, you're gonna uh, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. You need a, um, I forgot what this is called, but like a pizza shovel or something. Have that ready. The oven is preheating to 400. You take a slice of this lavash flatbread. It is, this is what I use. I think it's called a Torias traditional. A whole piece has only 120 calories. I bought mine at the local Whole Foods, but you can, if you can't find them, you can order them off of Amazon. It's really easy. I'm just using some organic uh, marinara sauce. I'm just gonna use a little bit, maybe like two tablespoons, and I just eyeball it. You don't want it to be too wet, right? Uh, it's just enough, and it tastes much better that way. Like, it's not all soggy, it's just enough. So like. Just cover the whole flatbread. Now you're gonna take a pinch of Himalayan pink sea salt and just sprinkle it over the tomato sauce, just a little bit. Now I chopped up some red onions. I'm gonna put that all over the pizza. Spread it all around evenly. I shredded some green cabbage. Sounds weird, but it's very good. And it's really good for you. Add more fiber, vegetables. So that's what we have so far. Then I'm gonna add some pink Argentinian wild shrimp that I just got. I'm very excited about it. Um, I love shrimp and this, I love the Argentinian red shrimp. So I'll just lay the shrimp all over the top evenly. So, so far, the flat bread is 120 calories. The shrimp would probably come out to be like another 100, so that's 220. The sauce is barely like 50 calories, so let's say 30 calories, so 250. The cabbage and the onions are like, you don't even have to count them. They're like barely any calories. So let's just say another 30. So 280, this whole thing right now, guys, this whole pizza right here, right now. Okay, 250 calories only so far. Now I'm just gonna add chunks of this Greek organic, it's, I don't really know the name, but it's like, I can't even pronounce it, but it's, uh, it's like feta, but it's a little milder and sweeter. 
So I put that all over it, and that's like another 50 calories. So let's, this pizza is like 300 and some calories. I usually add more toppings, like I'll add like more veggies, maybe pesto, and that will boot, like bump up the calorie count to like maybe close to 500. But as you can see now, as it is, it's like a little bit over 300 calories, most. You can eat this whole pizza. It's so satisfying, tasty, awesome. <laughs> Lastly, I will sprinkle some just ground pepper on top. And guys, take a look at this. Look at this. So good. I have a pizza stone. You don't have to have one, but um, uh, it, it makes it like nice and crispy. But you can just use like a regular pan. So I slide the pizza onto the, into the oven and we're just gonna bake it for like 10 minutes and it'll be ready. With my lunch, I will take my supplements. So I'm taking vitamin K and D. The multivitamin uh, powerhouse Mitocore and my prescribed DHEA, which is part of my hormone optimization protocol. And yeah, just those three things. Wow, that looks mouth-watering. Okay, tell me that that doesn't look good. Okay guys, so I have my pizza. I'm gonna have the whole thing and I'm gonna snack on some of this awesome grain-free, gluten-free egg white curls. These are a great chip alternative. Um, it's organic, they use avocado oil, so it's good fat, high protein, it has no crap in it. Everything is like, you can like understand what the ingredients are. Uh, tastes amazing, crunchy, I love chips, and these are a great alternative. And so, pizza and some of this egg white curl. Can I have some water? and I'm gonna take my supplements. That concludes the part one of what I eat in a day. Stay tuned for the part two, which I will share my late afternoon snack, my dinner, and the supplement I, that I take before I go to bed. All right, so, oh, and don't forget that I have my website up now, jadenchristopher.com. I post recipes and other written posts that I don't, you won't see on YouTube. And it also has the link to all my YouTube videos and you can also comment over there and share your thoughts, ask me questions. So check that out, jadenchristopher.com. All right, thanks guys, I'll see you on part two. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and share my videos with others. That would really help me expand my audience. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload new content. I now have PayPal Donate, so if you're interested in that and you want to support my channel, you can click on the link in my comment section as well as the upper right hand corner of my channel homepage. Thank you so much for watching you guys. As always, remember, it's never too late to optimize yourself and you can always start right now. Until next time, I'm Jaden Christopher and I'm wishing you a thriving day. Bye.